this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of so Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Good punch, Lance. Left hand got home there. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice straight right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful one two punch. And they are exchanging leather early. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC roster. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, a big left hand. Landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight and he has to because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He lands a big knee to the body. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, his head's turned and tested early. Nice leg kick. storyline in this fight we keep an eye on it as the bout continues you know we'll keep an eye on it but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent his opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly he's got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight huge connection by him there he needs to get on his bicycle john he needs to get into space so that he doesn't get this Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job, seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the out. I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Going to the kicks here in the clinch. Pretty good job there by Lee. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Right hook to the head block. Let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC. And certainly, you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Lead kick landed there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice 
kick there by Lee. Right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round just like he did in the previous one. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Oh, huge strike lands there and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left hook there! Man. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. It's under three minutes now to go on the round. Leg kick lands. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pace. Right hand over the top. Oh, with authority, the body. Good. Keep the pressure on. Two minutes now to go round two. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Lands to the body there. Oh! Oh! oh, that's big. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Dealing with a cheat cut. Right. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively minded fighters. Right now. Nice target change and him attacking the body. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Thirty seconds to go. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. Final seconds of the round. Oh, 10 oh, minutes oh. in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Oh, he got him hurt bad here. and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, Grab or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Let's open up that floor now. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh! He's hurt bad. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Nice oh, shot over the top there. Tag, tag, cut, Let's go. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, he stays. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right there. Oh, another knee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, don't fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Let's go, let's go. Fight. Fight. Oh, he's going back to the knees again. All right, so I don't have to tell the viewers the bruising on that thigh is getting more problematic by the minute. He just hasn't had any answer for that weapon tonight. He hasn't had any answer. I mean, he hasn't done anything to try and deter his opponent from throwing leg kicks. He has not countered. He has not checked. He has not done anything to make him think twice about throwing his kick, and that is why he finds himself in this situation. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. Lee's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Oh, how about the accuracy he lands right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Targeting the body with the kick now. Oh, yet again, back to the big kick and it lands. All right, that's three.
three rounds in the books, we are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now... He's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Ready to fight. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Make sure perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he still stands. That shot landed perfect. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. a shot to the leg. Oh, well, that cut is only getting worse, champ. I'm not sure if it's time to call in the ringside position, but we got a bloody mess on our hands. Yeah, bloody mess. This guy's almost unrecognizable. Oh, both of them landing massive shots. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect, it's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Back and forth we go. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Lee's nose is absolutely... Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, man, it's a big shot, too. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice inside kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with the strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. His eye is closing up. All right, gets inside, gets the single power tie here. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. And a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Both fighters throwing heat now. He's able to slip the left. 
Tough to take down, no problem. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Oh! Nice counter left there. Fifteen seconds to go. Well, these fighters did not come to play defense tonight. Back and forth we go. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools now, signifying the end of the round. Man, his nose is mangled. It's severely cut up right now. I think the fight could end at any moment. We'll see what the cut man can do here. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, nice knee by Lee. Oh, 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 you gotta start to look to finish him now. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch lands. Lee's hook. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, Yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Trying to hammer that lead leg. with the straight hand there. Oh, offering up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he got him hurt very badly. Just unable to quite find that range. Gotta keep your hands up for me now. Overhand left, swing and a miss. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Lee's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Heavy kick downstairs. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Strong huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Stun trying to recover here. Oh, huge spinning kick. Let me see that hook now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Just pouring blood at this point. 
Down the stretch we come, final round, and what a fight, what a performance on both sides. They'll be feeling it tomorrow, but unbelievable will and fortitude on display. I mean, this is what we as fight fans love, to see two fighters out there battered and bruised, bloody, have been in an absolute war, but neither of them willing to take a step back and give up. I don't know who's gonna win this fight, but I do know I am very happy that I was able to call it. One minute to go. Oh, boy, look at that gas. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Single power timeout. Lee going for the body kick. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, back and forth we go. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take. Never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage. Yeah, God, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. They are in each other's face. They are really showing you what type of heart you need in order to be a fighter. What a performance. Oh, back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. The Ladies official decision is in. It resides with Bruce rounds, We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46. 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Monster. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.